I just found a really, really, really pretty vintage quilt in the, in the bin. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I'm back again at the Goodwill bins for another treasure hunt. So let's go inside and see what we can find on this cold, crappy, rainy day. It is so rainy and crappy out. Right now it's like a misty rain. It's supposed to be done by like in between one and two, but it's only supposed to be in like the 50s for the highs, I think. Ugh. Okay, it kind of looks like these are the same from yesterday. Pretty sure they are. So that means they haven't brought out glass yet. Yes. Okay, let's go to the hard goods. It's busy in here. Look at that flatware set. Oh, literally, I was just walking by and I see this. So that's going in my cart. Somebody must have put it back because that wasn't in the glass bins yesterday. The rest of the stuff was though, I think. Yes, it was, I remember that. Okay. That was a, a mermaid, baby. I just found a really, really, really pretty vintage quilt in the, in the bins. It is so pretty. The lady signed it. Whoever made it. Right there. But it's pretty. I like it. It's like a cutter quilt. I'll lay it out and show you guys eventually. But I was, came back to the soft because they were bringing out new soft. Look, here's another one. I'll definitely be taking that. What's this one? This one's just, just plain. I'm not gonna take this one. I mean, yeah, no. I don't like that one as much. I never film looking in the soft because I'm, I get bored with it quickly. I'm usually not over here very long, but I just happened to see that quilt when I was walking by. So I'm like, 
Yeah. I'll take those. There's a an Raggedy and an Andy one. That'll go in the cart. What other ones are under here? What's this sweatshirt? Walt Disney World. All right, see, I told you I get bored quickly. I'm already back at the hard goods. Bunch of CDs. A decorative spoon. And Christmas stuff. But it looks like all new. Everything's newer. Even these. They're all new. I'm looking for old, old, old. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. He must have used to talk or something because his belly button pushes in. Feel better. All right, it's time for these old hard goods to go bye bye, and they're gonna bring out some new ones. I haven't found anything lately in the hard goods, like nothing real, real good. So hopefully, there'll be some good stuff. Here's the new bins. Let's see what's gonna roll out in front of me. crazy in here, you guys. It's like savages. I just, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> you gotta find a spot to be able to get in to dig. It never used to be that way. Garland. All 
right, these hearts still aren't very good here. Well, once again, I didn't get anything out of the new bins. They've, the hard lately has just been not very good at all. Baby Bop and Barney. These are cute. We'll stick those in the cart. I did find a couple Madame Alexander dolls and a couple books. But I think I'm getting ready to go check out now because I gotta get kids from school today. And I'm just not finding a whole lot in here. Let's go check out and we'll get right into the hall. Oh, wait. Huh, oh, it's plastic. All right. Okay, well, we made it out of there and spent $13. I didn't get a whole lot, but I got a big quilt, which I will show you here in a second. Um, so that made the total weigh a little bit more. But I picked up this uh, wall decor sea urchin. Love these. These are so fun. Very atomic, as you know. I have three up there on my gallery wall. Um, so I, I love these because they're just atomic and fun. So that will be for sale in an upcoming live sale. Along with this um, hanky. It'll, I'll try to see if I have more hankies and... Put them in a lot. Um, I picked up Ross a t-shirt. Uh, really cute. He likes Mr. Beast on YouTube. So I figured he would like that t-shirt. I picked up Barney and Baby Bop in their pajamas. These are so cute. I looked these up and they actually sell... Um, pretty decently so I'll put what I find up here so you guys can see it but yeah they're cute and adorable Barney has a couple little spots on him you know I think with a little Don Dishope and a little scrubbing or maybe a little shout that could come out but yeah there's there no rips or tears so or holes pretty cute for those they bring me back to my childhood and I picked up a couple um, of these Telltale books. I picked up Snow White, Lassie, and another Lassie. These are really good to craft with. I know a lot of people are really into that right now. Um, and so I have other books. I'm just going to lot them all up in one lot together and um, go from there. Ooh, the races have started. It is the first night of the races here in Knoxville. Well, it's just practice night, but um, I haven't heard that sound in a long time, and it just means the weather's warming up. Yes! <laughs> so if you hear that in the background, that's what it is. Then I picked up a lot of these Madame Alexander dolls. I'm just going to put them in a baggie and sell them all in one lot. They're really cute and adorable, so um, there's just, oh, girlfriend, your hair is a mess. There we go. You need a bath. And that guy. So I'm just going to put them in a baggie and sell them all in one lot together. Then the rest, I think that was, oh, there's one more. One more little guy. I think the rest is lemons because, like I said, I didn't get a whole lot today. Um, this really cute, like, little baby doll blanket. It's adorable, right? With Raggedy Ann and Andy. It's like a quilted, quilted one. And then um, another baby. This is actually a baby blanket. 
not a baby doll blanket. This one's a baby blanket. It's bigger. I will actually lay it out for you guys so you can see it all. And I'll put the measurements right here so you guys can see it, what it looks like. But it's really cute and adorable. And then the last thing that I got was this big cutter quilt. It's so pretty. So, so, so pretty. I will lay it all out so you guys can see. See the star? I'll lay it out right here and put the size um, so you guys can see what it looks like. Light. I'll lay it out, but that's everything I got. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot. I only ended, I spent $13, but um, that's the, because I got a blanket. So yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoyed the video. I didn't get a whole lot, but comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well. And I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. A lot of the things that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. Because um, I have, I've been doing uh, pop-up live sales throughout the week too. So if you don't want to miss those, it's very important right now. Go subscribe, hit that bell button. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, like I said, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.